guys, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie and today I'm going to give you a full video walk around on this 2017 My 18.5 Mitsubishi Outlander Exceed. Now starting off at the front of the car, you can see that we do have four colour coded parking sensors that go across the front of the vehicle. You also have fog lights fitted down the bottom and you also have uh, these beautiful headlights that have the daytime running lights in the headlights themselves and they do have the headlight wash as well. So if they do get a bit, of dirt, a bit dirty, uh, we'll actually wash the headlights. Front of the car, there are no major scratches or dents or anything that are worth pointing out. Really good uh, condition on the front of the vehicle. We'll come around and look at our first alloy wheel. As you can see, this wheel is unmarked. Literally presents like it just came out of the showroom and really good tread left on those tires as well. Color code exterior mirrors with uh, chrome door handles. Now the mirrors do have the side indicator integrated in the actual mirror itself and you can see it really cleans up the side of the vehicle. Uh, you will notice that the mirrors are folded in so every time the car is locked they will actually fold themselves in. So I'll show you just by pressing this keyless entry here. Car unlocks, mirrors unfold. Uh, while we're there we'll take a look inside the car real quick. As you can see with only uh, 1,811 kilometers on it, the interior still presents like brand new. No major scratches or anything that are worth pointing out. Even has the brand new smell in there still as well. Continue down, as you'll notice, the paintwork is in really good condition. As I said, chrome door handles which really finish off the side of the vehicle. Coming to the second wheel now, other than there being a little bit of bird poo on there, which I apologize about, uh, the wheel is actually unmarked again and still fantastic tread on that back tire too. We'll come to the back of the car now, where you'll see we do have a high mount stoplight. You also have the rear windscreen wiper as well, and you have color coded reverse parking sensors too. We'll take a look in the back of the car now. Now, this tailgate is actually automatic and it's manual as well. With most cars, if they're automatic, you can't actually lift it up manually. But I'll show you real quick, as you can see, it is a seven seater. Now, the good thing about the seven seaters is they do fold completely flat. I'll also show you when we go around the other side how to, how to fold the middle row down as well. You have all your genuine floor mats in there as well. So just to close it automatically, just as simple as clicking that button there. And as you see, it would actually go down itself. You can also do it with the key. Come around to the passenger side where you'll see the fuel filler cap is on the passenger side. Again, that wheel is unmarked as well. And good tread left on that tire too. I'll show you inside how we fold the chairs down real quick. So it's as simple as pulling out this little uh, seat underneath here, you just flip this switch and you've got to make sure the headrests are down and then seat folds completely flat. So as you can see when all the seats are flat you have massive boot space in here. So a really good car for you if you're going camping or something like the drive-ins or you know wherever you need to do to lie down in the back. Going down the vehicle again I will be super picky real quick. There's a really minor scratch on the actual uh, passenger door but other than that that side presents just as good as the other side and again another unmarked alloy so as you can see guys with the amount of kilometers and the condition on the car you can tell that the previous owner really took the care to take care of this car. Second look underneath the bonnet now so what we have here is a 2.4 litre four-cylinder petrol engine produces 124 kilowatts of power and also 220 newton meters of torque six-speed CVT transmission in this vehicle 60 litre capacity tank which you can run on 91 or above Pretty good fuel economy as well for a car of the size, 7.2 litres to the 100 k's. So out of a full maximum tank, so that's out of 60 litres, you can get anywhere up to 1,000 kilometres from that full tank. Alright guys, taking a look inside the Outlander now, starting off with the driver's side door. The power, you have all four power windows for all, all the windows. You have uh, the automatic window for the driver's side, driver's side window, so it makes things nice and easy. You have all your central, central locking, and then you have a button here that will actually lock the uh, passenger windows as well. All your mirror controls, now you can fold in the mirrors. Speaking of the mirrors, they do have lane departure warning. So if so, sorry, not they have blind spot monitoring, not lane departure warning. So if somebody comes in your blind spot, it will actually light up orange. And if you still hit the indicator while they're in your blind spot and it's lit up orange, it will actually beep at you telling you not to go. Now behind the steering wheel, you have your front end mitigation warning. So that'll actually give you a warning to if you forgot to brake and there's a car in front of you. Um, but if it is over 60 kilometers an hour and it, you've done the same thing, the car will actually assist you in braking as well. Lane departure warning, so if you get too close to the white lines, it will actually give you a beep and tell you to move over. Uh, your sonar button, so you can turn the reverse parking sensors off. And then you have uh, your boot release there as well. Traction control button. Then you have a little menu button that just flicks through the little screen in here. Then on your right hand stalk, indicators, you have your fog lights, auto headlights, and you have auto high beams as well. Left hand stalk, you have your headlight washers, you have your windscreen wipers, and they're also automatic as well. 
On the right hand side of the steering wheel, which is nicely wrapped in leather, you have your cruise control. Now this car does have adaptive cruise control, so it will lock on the car in front of you. Um, you can set it different distances as well, which comes up in the main screen. And then uh, if they slow down, you will automatically slow down as well. And if they speed up, you will automatically speed up as well. But you will not exceed the speed limit um, to what you have set. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, all your media control settings and your camera view as well. So this car does have a 360 degree camera. Uh, so th as you can see, there's a bird's eye view. You can even see, um, you can change different angles. So the best one is right next to the, the driver side, or sorry, passenger side wheel where everyone tends to scratch. And then obviously clicking, clicking it a third time will turn it off. Now it is a proximity key, so uh, push button start into the main entertainment system now as you can see really nice flush display it has apple carplay android auto has um, usb aux and bluetooth as well and fm am radio and digital radio as well down below you have all your climate control settings it does have dual zone climate control so you can set two different temperatures for the passenger and driver down below again you have a 12 volt socket down here you can turn turn on and off the uh, tailgate um, so, you know, if you don't want anyone to accidentally open it while it's in the garage or something like that, you can turn it off. And you also got, uh, you can actually set uh, the actual height of the uh, door opening as well. Now down below you have your rear cross traffic alert. So if someone is actually, if you're actually reversing out of a car park and you can't see and there is a car coming and you got to go, it would actually warn you and tell you not to go. So using the, the sensors in the back, it would actually give you a warning to tell you don't go. Two cup holders in here that, as you can see, fold away really nicely in this nice piano black finish as well. Your automatic gearbox, your electric handbrake, so it will actually light up. So as you can see, the handbrake is off at the moment. Putting it on, it will actually light up. Four-wheel drive button. So this car runs in uh, in automatic four-wheel drive. So it usually just drives in two-wheel drive. Then it, when it feels a bit of slip, it goes into four-wheel drive. Uh, and then vice versa when it needs it and doesn't need it or you can put in four-wheel drive lock when it's constantly in four-wheel drive but just remember you will use more fuel heated seats for the passenger and the driver and then in this nice leather wrapped armrest someone's left some screws in there but yeah, as you can see a nice little parcel tray as I said before you two, you got two USBs 12 volt socket and then you've got plenty of storage in there as well we'll pan up to the roof real quick and I'll show you that this car does have a nice fully functioning sunroof so as you can see all automatic good amount of space and you're going to get enough air in there as well and if you don't want the roof uh, actually open but you want the blind you can have that as well so as you can see nice functioning uh, sunroof so what I'll get the camera person to do now is just pan around the interior and show you the condition of the vehicle and then once we're actually done doing that we'll jump outside and we'll wrap the video up okay guys hopefully that's giving you a really good representation of the car the benefits the features and also the condition inside and out now the number to call if you would like to book a test shop is 9907055. Just before I go, a couple of things I'd like to talk to you about. We do offer an additional mechanical protection plan on this vehicle that will start after the manufacturer's warranty. We'll give you unlimited claims up to $3,600. Also give you 10 years of premium roadside assist and also gives you five years up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electrical protection. Now, uh, one last thing before I go, with a 4.8 star rating on Google with over uh, 800 reviews Australia wide, you can be assured you're buying a fantastic car from the, also the right dealership and the right quality people as well. Again, my name is Jamie, number to call 9907055. Thanks for watching.